An inquiry into the closure of the state's only residential youth mental health unit has heard plans for a replacement centre were scrapped because of budget cuts. A former health executive says he was told to find $100 million in savings in three months. Dr Tony O'Connell was the Director General of Health in 2013, months before the Barrett Adolescent Centre was closed down. The facility cared for young people with severe mental illness and was shut by the LNP in early 2014. Three former patients died in the following eight months. Today, Dr O'Connell told the inquiry he was asked to review plans for a replacement facility. He scrapped the project, telling the Commission the decision was driven, in part, by a push to balance the budget. He said... The Newman government had come into power and had a commission of audit. And that had identified significant overspending by Queensland Health. I was being asked to identify 100 million in savings in a fairly short period of time. The Commission heard he was given three months to find the savings. Dr O'Connell told the Commission there was a state and national move towards more community-based services for mental health patients, but he understood there would always be a need for longer-term residential-style care for some patients, similar to the Barrett Centre. But the inquiry has heard that type of facility wasn't going to be available for at least 12 months after the closure, and it has never been built. Dr Ian Maynard took over from Dr O'Connell as Director General in late 2013. Both men have told the inquiry they'd been given assurances by Queensland Health executives that the appropriate interim care would be available for patients. Parents say that didn't happen. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.